So I learned everything I know about pipe smoking from the Mutton Chop Piper. I'm a really new pipe smoker and I really enjoy it. I used to smoke cigarettes actually for my whole life I've smoked in some capacity. And I quit smoking cigarettes uh, and I don't really enjoy cigars. I never really fully enjoyed cigars like I do pipe smoking. And the breath method is a very important thing to learn if you enjoy smoking pipes. And it took me a while to understand it. The Mutton Chop Piper does an amazing job explaining it. I'm going to explain it the way that I thought about it when I really learned how to do it properly. And I'm still learning how to do everything related to pipe smoking in better ways. Uh, right now, I'm smoking uh, this Missouri uh, Meerschaum, I think is how you say it. It's the classic corn cob pipe. It was $7.99 to get this pipe, and it's, it's great. And um, I have a Lorenzetti um, Julius Caesar coming. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, not too expensive. It was under 80 bucks total with shipping. And I'm really excited about that one. That's going to be my nicer pipe. And as everybody knows who smokes pipes, you have to have multiple pipes because you're not supposed to smoke one pipe over and over and over again over the course of multiple days uh, because of moisture and other reasons. But I'll let the experts talk about all that stuff. So I'm just going to describe to you how I learned and at least thought about how to properly do the breath method. So I'll tell you now. If you go and watch the Mutton Chop Viper, his explanation is using mouthwash. I'm gonna use a diaphragm analogy, like a second set of lungs, all right? So what you're talking about is the breath method, which is where you inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose, but you're actually smoking the pipe with your mouth. And it looks like this. So the actual pipe smoke is coming in and out through the pipe and I'm breathing through my nose. And I can smoke an entire pipe that way without ever opening my mouth all the way through. And it's really enjoyable. But you have to learn how to do it properly and it's the breath method that I find to be the most useful. I look at it as two diaphragms. You've got your lungs where you're inhaling and you're exhaling. And then you have your mouth which is another diaphragm. Your tongue as it pulls back and draws on the pipe with the back of your throat is closed so you're not inhaling the smoke your your back of your throat is closed and then your tongue and below your chin is drawing like a diaphragm the smoke from the pipe and it's pulling that smoke into your mouth and I call it incubating you incubate that smoke in your mouth and you don't blow it out but then you push it back out slowly through the pipe so it looks like this. Now if I wanted to actually draw and push it out my mouth, I'll show you what that looks like. So. So it's not a ton of smoke. You don't want your uh, your tobacco smoke to be really thick. You want it to be kind of like a smoldering tobacco. You don't want it to be burnt and singed. Um, so you're getting a nice, cool smoke. And it's not a really thick, heavy smoke. It's just a nice, cool, so you get the taste of the tobacco. Um, it shouldn't be really hot. Um, and basically what you're doing through this breath method is the air is moving in and out of the tobacco um, keeping that ember or cherry going um, while you enjoy the taste of this cool tobacco smoke um, and you're breathing again through your nose what some people do and what I've started to do when I'm really relaxed is I will uh, I'll actually do a breath in and out through my nose and one draw through my mouth diaphragm if you will uh, versus two, uh, like one in and out for every breath. I feel like if I do an in and out for every breath, I end up, this, my bowl gets too hot and I don't want to smoke the tobacco that fast. So I'll breathe in and draw in over the course of breathing in and out. Uh, so one in and out breath 
is one draw in to the mouth diaphragm. And then one in and out breath through my nose is one push out of the pipe. And then if you run into what's happening now, which is this is getting too cool, I'll do a quick in and out, in and out to get this re, uh, get the cherry going. And you shouldn't really leave it this long. So that's back where it should be. So now I can enjoy it. And again, if there's nobody around, I will usually do an entire bowl uh, without opening my mouth uh, the entire time. And it's really enjoyable. I'll add a couple diagrams to this video so that it makes sense. Or hopefully you've already seen the diagrams as part of this. Uh, but enjoy it. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, my Lauren Zetti coming in. And But again, having one of these... Um, Missouri corn cobs is just as good as anything in my opinion and it's a lot of fun it's enjoyable and it's very relaxing and I swear it's good for the soul so uh, happy smoking and I'll do a couple videos on my learning experience on pipe smoking because it is a skill it's not something that just comes immediately and you have to have a passion for it uh, to do it properly and really I think get the most out of it um, and it's just something that I'm really enjoying. So I'll uh, add some more videos about uh, my learning experience because I'm a novice. And again, thank you to the Mutton Chop Piper and others who are uh, showing their expertise online about pipe smoking because it's extremely enjoyable and it's something that uh, is just invaluable to learn from an expert uh, like Mutton Chop. So anyways, happy smoking. Have a good night. What's also nice about pipe smoking is you can have the pipe in your mouth once you learn how to do the breath method and you can just do whatever you're doing all day and it doesn't matter. You don't have to stop having the pipe in your mouth. You don't have to have one of your hands free to have the other one smoking a cigarette or a cigar. Uh, as long as you're doing it properly, you're not going to start choking on the smoke and you can do anything throughout the day. and artwork you can build something you can be using your table saw and you don't have to worry about the smoke or your uh, cherry going out because you're using the breath method you're enjoying the entire experience and there's nothing that can stop you so uh, it's pretty awesome and if if you really master the art of the breath method you'll be a happy man